What if point systems for tests were different? What if when taking a test you could select multiple answers and the percent per question you got was 100 1, n, n being the amount of answers selected only award points if any a selected answer was correct, and only for multiple choice questions. What this does is give people the option to sacrifice a chance at more points, and take a better chance at getting less points. What are some pros and cons of this system? Would it be in any way worth trying? Addition. If you think this question fits better on a different site, please note. I have no idea what tags to use, and I don't know how well this question fits in academia. You are not the first person to think about this idea. People use similar ideas in forecasting and your idea is similar to the Briar score. The premise of this foresting is to be the best at predicting the future. People weight their certainty of predictions over time e.g., the probability of rain tomorrow is somewhere between 0 and 100%. Over the short term, the Briar score penalizes certain wrong answers e.g., if you say there is a 95% chance of rain but it does not rain, your score is lower than if said there was a 55% chance of rain. But, over the long term, this method penalizes both uncertainty and inaccuracy e.g., if I consistently make right predictions with 55% probability, I will have a lower score than if I make correct predictions with a 75% probability. The Good Judgment Project uses Briar scores to evaluate people's ability to forecast and would be a good starting place for you to you look. That being said, I don't know how your proposed idea would work on exams unless you wanted your students to study game theory, forecasting, or predictions rather than your subject material. In general, many if not most education experts think multiple choice questions are a bad way to assess learning, e.g., for some of the reasons described in this article.